Hello guys and welcome back to episode number 24 of the Arsenal career mode. Today we do have a big game against Manchester City as you can see on screen. This is the Capital One Cup quarter final. This is really important that we actually win this. As I am recording this in real life, Arsenal have just unfortunately lost to Tottenham 2-1. Which is a real bugger, but you know, we played like shit and we ended up deserving to lose really. But hopefully today in the career mode we can actually do better than Arsenal in real life. Which so far we pretty much have been doing that. And you can see the team we've got here is absolutely fantastic. For some reason I forgot to put Diego Godin back into the team. He has actually gone up to an 87 as well as you'll see later on in this episode. So I don't know why I left him out. Must have just forgot. But see, he won't start in the strongest team against us. Players like Jovic and sort of Aguero, uh, James Milner and Nasri on the flanks. Um... You know, Sanya playing at right back facing obviously his former team and they did sign Handanovic to replace Joe Hart who we did obviously take off of them. We do start off quite well here getting an early chance against Handanovic trying to test him out a little bit and we do almost make it 1-0 to us. We are, guys, though, very close to the January transfer window. Now, I want you guys to start leaving any suggestions you have for signings in the in the comments down below. It'd be really helpful to me. I don't know who we really need, so just pretty much you can su suggest anyone you feel would be good for the team. I don't really know who we need to sign as of yet, but look at that for an own goal from James Milner from uh, Sammy Kadira's shot. Unfortunately, it didn't give the goal to uh, Sammy Kadira because he hasn't actually scored, I don't think, for us yet. Obviously, playing in that very deep CDM role, he's not really going but Ramsey there celebrating in front of the Manchester City fans I'm sure they really enjoyed that but he does make it 2-0 and I was really surprised because this was obviously normally is my first game of the day is you know recording and it was again the first game of the day against City and I was quite impressed that I'd already managed to put ourselves 2-0 up and I was feeling quite comfortable that maybe City don't really care about the Capital One Cup. Obviously, for us, it's a really big trophy to win. I want to at least pick up one piece of silverware this year. And if we do go through, I think we either face Everton or someone else. So it's going to be quite tense, but I really want to get through to the semi-finals. Obviously, winning this is our aim. And if we can knock City out, it does make the rest of the journey to the final a little bit easier, which is obviously going to be fantastic. I'm still challenging for the league as well. But I felt that in this game, you know, we were completely in charge. Again, I was trying to play the passing game that I've been doing the last few episodes, just trying to keep hold of the ball more. And it does seem to be working, which is good, because we're not actually conceding nearly as many goals as we were before when we were just completely counter-attacking. But we do get a chance here with Alexis Sanchez. He does a Berber spin around the defender and does fire it past Handanovic to make it 3-0. And that's pretty much the game sealed from that point. I did not expect to concede any goals from here on out. And you can see a lovely little skill move there around the defender. Mangala actually and we do actually end up putting ourselves 3-0 up at home at the Emirates which is fantastic and Handanovic having a little bit of a poor game considering you know he is probably at least an 85-86 rated keeper now in Karimo whereas Joe Hart isn't nearly half that um, size but anyway you can see there we do bring on some subs I'm going to start doing that it's a bit like what Doc Landers does in his Karimo where he just shows it in the bottom it's not really something majorly important it doesn't always show the full animation so I just if, if I ever have that animation I'll put it in this corner in a separate little video thing and you guys can see who we do bring on. But City were missing chances left, right and centre in this game. They had like three or four chances at the end of the game to actually, you know, put themselves, you know, at least one or two goals back into the game. But unfortunately for them, they just could not do it. And we were completely in charge of this game. And I think we did really well, to be honest. And we do pick up the 3-0 win, which is absolutely fantastic. What a game that was and what a result we got there. Even though they did bring on Aguero in the second half, I didn't even expect them to have Aguero anymore, to be honest. They normally sell him. You can see there, James Middle with an own goal and Ramsey and Sanchez picking up the other. So we are going to be facing... We should be facing Leighton Orient or Notts County. But because of FIFA, it will either be West Brom, Everton, Notts County... Yeah, it'll be them three. So, for some reason, it doesn't follow the tournament tree properly in FIFA. It's done it ever since the game's come out. And it's really frustrating, actually, because we actually are facing Everton, which is a bitch, because I really didn't want to. You can see that Diego Godin, we're sorting out our contract for Welbeck. And I did notice that Godin went up to an 87, which I found pretty cool, because he is our star centre-back right now. And he is going to be back into the team as a permanent you know, player. I didn't mean to take him out. It must have just been a mistake on my behalf. But we do actually go down, and you can see the wages here. Some of the wages are ridiculously high. And Welbeck down here somewhere on 70k a week, he wants an upgrade of 40,000 pounds per week, which is just incredible. But because he is one of our star strikers alongside Mary Mandzukic and Wilfred Bonny, we do need to offer him that money. We do have 25 million, and just 
under £400,000 on the wage budget for the January transfer window. So we can pretty much bring in any player because we can knock that wage back down to about 200k, giving ourselves probably about 35 million to bring in a player. Now, I'm not too sure where I want to improve. I haven't really thought about it too much because with our normal team, we might have to offload some players. Morgan Schneiderlin does want to leave the club. As does Aaron Ramsey, possibly. He hasn't come back to me yet and said whether or not he has decided to leave the club or not. If he does decide to leave, I might look into bringing someone like Goetzer into the team. You know, a really world-class cam. You know, or maybe David Silva. I'm not too sure yet. I don't know, really know who I want to bring into the side. There's obviously a lot of really good cams out there. James Rodriguez being another one. But I might try and be a bit more realistic with it. We might try and bring, on, bring in Gabriel Paulista or Paulista who has actually signed for Arsenal in real life. But nevertheless, we do go into a game here against West Ham. And we start off with a Danny Welbeck goal. He said he wanted to be in the side for the game against City. So I thought, you know what, why not give him a chance out on the left midfield, which is where I've been playing Welbeck for the most of the season. And he does prove us why he should be in the team. Lovely little skill goal there. A few step overs and ball rolls. And he does get in through on the goal and puts one past the West Ham goalkeeper, which I believe is Jussi Jaskalainen. And we do make it 1-0, which is a fantastic start. And we were playing some really good football in the last few episodes. And hopefully you guys are enjoying the football that I'm producing you know we're actually playing some really nice games we're picking up lots of points in the league which is good and we're obviously winning our cup games as well which is fantastic and we do actually next episode start with a game against Benfica and the good thing is guys we can lose that game and we'll still go through to the knockout stages of the Champions League so we are guaranteed to get an extra 10 to 15 million for the Champions League when we finish that game because you always in career mode at the last game of the Champions League you always get a big bonus if you get qualified and it's always around 10 million so we're going to have possibly 45 million if we adjust the transfer budget to actually bring in a new player which is going to be absolutely massive and you can see West Ham here we're having a pretty poor game and to be honest it wasn't the best of games you know you can see here they were having a few chances but Joe Hart in fantastic form this game which was good to see obviously our number one goalie but look at that I mean that is unfortunate for James Tonkins there I think who gave the ball away it might be O'Brien actually but Mandzukic runs for on goal does he have the pace to get past he does a little like step over type thing smashes the ball past Jasko Leinen or maybe Adrian actually in there and we do make it 2-0 to us and at this point you know 65 minutes in I just felt that we were going to go on to get the three points yet again because to be honest with you West Ham just did not do a lot in this game they're, they're one of them teams sometimes they'll play really well and beat you other times you'll just absolutely annihilate them and they won't even get a chance on goal for most of the game but we do carry on here and Debushi almost getting outpaced there which is a pain in the arse that's the problem with my defence I'm feeling maybe Debushi isn't the best right back in the world to have but I'm not too sure but Saka goes for a goal here and he does unfortunately get more of a consolation goal rather than anything else but it does make it 2-1 and um, you know I wasn't too bothered at this point it was the 90th minute as you can see and uh, we do end up picking up the three points in the league which is absolutely fantastic just really really pleased with the form right now and how I'm playing because sometimes on world class I'll struggle and I'll lose and other days like this I'll win against City and win against West Ham comfortably in the league and it's just so good that we're finally kind of getting into the you know the the swing of things within the career mode and hopefully we can continue on with the form but we're actually going to show you a quick squad report. I wanted to show you that the uh, Godin are going up mainly, and you can see the other players here. As always, if you would like to see the players in more details, please do feel free just to pause the video and have a look at each individual player, and then come back when you're done. And uh, yeah, so you can see some of the players here doing fantastically well. You know, I'm really impressed with the form of the side right now. If we can pick up the BPL title this season, it would be absolutely massive. You know, players like Walcott there, Chamberlain, everyone kind of growing. I'm hoping Chamberlain and Ramsey decide to stay. I'm not too bothered about Morgan Schneiderlin he can leave if he wants um, because I would could probably bring in someone better you know to be honest but I want to keep Ramsey and Oxlade due to the fact they are both Arsenal players in real life and they are one of my some of my favorite Arsenal players in real life as well but you can see here we've got all the lone players Wellington Silva he's actually in the team I forgot about that but you can see as we go further down people like Monreal uh, or Spina unhappy which isn't a surprise Winston Reid has been playing a few games here and there for us and you can see some of the people we sent out like Gnabry and Aphobe are doing well as well which is always good to see and that is the end of the squad report but thank you very much for watching guys if you did enjoy this episode if we could smash five likes as always that would be absolutely fantastic if you haven't already subscribe to the channel and I will speak to you guys in the next episode <laughs>